Hello, I'm Mikey Campling and I'm having another go at doing a vlog. I haven't done one for ages but I was watching uh, one by the uh, inestimable uh, Garrett Robinson earlier and uh, he's inspired me to have another go. So I'm basing this on a blog post that I've recently done on my uh, website over at MikeyCampling.com and it's about something that's just happened to me and that is getting going again with your writing after you've had a long break and we've just had what uh, passes for summer here in the UK and with one thing and another uh, it turned out into a massive break in my writing I planned to do loads but the way it turned out I was just busy with other stuff work commitments and so on and I just didn't get a thing done and it's quite easy at that point to think right that's it I'm never going to do it again I'm going to throw in the towel um, you know it was all rubbish anyway I'm never going to finish it and just you know put it in a shoebox under the bed or wherever you uh, want to keep your shoeboxes of, of broken dreams um, so I kind of worked my way through it and got going again I'm really pleased with that and I thought maybe it might help one or two other people um, get going again with their writing so I've written it up as a blog post and now here it is as a vlog as they say. Um, so here's what I did. The first thing was to admit to yourself that you've got this problem and then to actually go and ask for some help. Now perhaps you're a member of a local writing group or something similar and that would be fantastic. You know, Don't be afraid to go along to that and say uh, you know, I'm a bit stuck and need some help getting going. See if anybody else has, has got any other ideas because we've all been there. I'm sure everybody who ever created anything artistic has, has had you know some problem at some point getting going with their work. Um, if you, you don't have face-to-face -face contacts, then of course your social media are fantastic for this. And writers seem to me to be a really nice bunch of people online. Um, I'm sure there must be some idiots out there, but I've not really come across them. People are really nice, supportive, helpful, kind, generous with their time. Um, and so I put something on Twitter saying, you know, anybody got any good tips? And who we were talking about earlier, Garrett Robinson, should uh, all links together, you see. Um, he came up with some suggestions about, you know, listening to the same bits of music. Well, I thought, yeah, well, why have I, I used to write with headphones on quite a lot, listen to music. Why have I not tried that? It just seems so obvious. And so, you know, I found out some playlists that I've made that particularly weren't too distracting and just sort of nicely energetic, but... Um, got me going and you know it really helped it just and also headphones just shuts the world out a bit doesn't it and that can help so just little things like that can be useful just little tips from somebody else might just get you going and uh, you know maybe it's a magic feather thing but who cares if it works really um, so that's the first thing and you know don't just struggle don't beat your head against the wall say to yourself okay I'm stuck what should I do maybe somebody else has got some good ideas Okay, the other thing links in with that, you try to recreate an environment where you were successful before. So perhaps it was a certain room or a certain setting where you wrote, maybe it was your local coffee shop or on a train, your front room, your bedroom, maybe you're you know, lucky enough to have a nice dedicated area where you can work, an office or a study. And try and get it something like it was before um, and that might be in terms of lighting it could be time of day it could be things like music um, it could be something like just making sure your family aren't going to disturb you know, by asking them nicely because um, they have to be patient with the writers don't they so ask them nicely not to disturb you for half an hour or an hour or something while you just sort of get on with it um, this also ties in with my saying half an hour an hour um, Try and set yourself, after a long break, a realistic time to write for. Now, maybe you used to write for three hours or a whole day, who knows. Um, it, don't sort of go in with those same expectations. Say to yourself, yes, I'm going to get something done in the next 40 minutes. Okay? Um, even set a timer if necessary. Just even if you know, you've done the tiniest thing, set aside that time. If you don't... And you say to yourself, OK, I've got all day, then you really risk sitting, staring into space all day, thinking I'm stuck. I can't do it. Why can't I do this? Why can't I get going? And that's the last thing you want. That's that's positively destructive. So, you know, we want to get into some a more positive routine. So try and control that. Build it up as you've got success, you know, as your reward. Um, 
you know, say, okay, I can do that 40 minutes. Next time it is going to be an hour, perhaps the next the next time I have a writing session. Or maybe you've given yourself some nice little breaks or some treats. You know, you have a nice cup of coffee or something, treat yourself to a snack or, or a bit of time outside, whatever it is that you like to do, a bit of exercise perhaps, and you go, get cracking again, you know, and just build up that time slowly. I mean, imagine what an athlete would do if they hadn't been training for a long time. They wouldn't go straight in and run a marathon they would certainly have to build their strength back up again. And it is similar in that way. In The discipline is the same. It's the same thing. It's building up your, your routine and your self-discipline into getting that routine working productively. Um, also, just be aware of these um, word count targets. Now, it, there's not, not much in writing that's very tangible especially if you're you know, doing rough drafts and outlines and things and you're editing, um, there's nothing very tangible. So the word count target can seem a really ideal thing to latch onto, but it can be a dangerous thing if you end up beating yourself over the head with it. You know, perhaps you used to be able to write 1,000, 2,000 words an hour. Well, if you've had a long break, that just isn't gonna happen, I'm afraid. Not very likely anyway, I don't think, unless you're very lucky. Um, so, you know, bring it right down so that you can give yourself a reward for hitting it. So whatever that is, you know, reduce it maybe even by a half. So you might go from a thousand to five hundred words. Well, the good thing is you're probably going to hit that. OK, and so then you're going to reward yourself. You know, you go and have a nice cappuccino or something and then you can say, OK, I've hit that. So the next day my target's going to be six hundred or something. Um, and believe me, this stuff works. I used to be a teacher and I used to use this stuff with kids, you know. It is just little targets should be just ahead of what you can do now. And that is going to push you to achieve it. Uh, if it's too far ahead, it just becomes something to punish yourself with. Okay, it's reinforcing that sense of failure and doom, which we don't want. So build things up slowly um, and give yourself some treats. Do, please, whatever that is. And celebrate every word, okay? Even if it is just one. Now that word, that one word you've just written, that wasn't in the universe before, you've just brought it into being, okay? Just even if it is one word, even if it's just the word the. Now that word wasn't there before, you dreamt it up and created it, which is an incredible thing. Uh, there aren't any other animals on the planet that can do that. It's an incredible achievement and you should celebrate that. Um, and not be sitting looking at this word thinking, why aren't you two words? Why aren't you ten words? Okay? You've done that word. Um, you know, write, And sometimes if you're totally stuck, just write anything just to get the fingers moving again. Okay? Write wombat if you have to. Or poodle or something. Just put a word down there. Um, and you can always correct it later, can't you? You can always get rid of it. Because you don't want a romantic scene that suddenly involves a wombat or something, do you? So um, hopefully you can edit that later. Um, but just get the fingers going. Even if you've written Mary Had a Little Lamb. Anything. Just to get going. Um, sometimes after I get a bit stuck, I wrote, like, and then something happened, you know. <laughs> and then that just, because that seems funny to me in my quirky sense of humour. I then think, All right, that, okay. And then I write the thing that happened and go back and delete that. So that's about it really. I'll keep it fairly um, short and sweet for now. Um, I hope to be bringing you some more of these. Now I'm feeling inspired. Although maybe I need to invest in a few things because um, although Garrett's post uh, vlog was called Vlog Your Way to Happiness, the first thing I did was start digging out equipment and broke my tripod, but it is sort of 20 odd years old. So it's super glued back together and it seems to be holding the camera up to a reasonable height. So um, that's it for today. Keep writing, uh, keep scribbling away, keep hitting the keys, keep going. And please do try and enjoy it whilst you're doing it because it is a fantastic thing to do. It's a wonderful, marvellous thing to do, writing. Um, it's not about just necessarily the end product isn't necessarily selling it and marketing it. And that's wonderful. You know, that, that can come later. Whilst you're writing, just get into that and enjoy it. And don't think about anything else. Um, and use that time even if it's only half an hour you could really write quite a few sentences in half an hour if you really put your mind to it you get a fair few words down um, that's it
thank you very much for listening and watching um, you can see more of this kind of stuff at mikeycampling.com and you can subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have nothing at all better to do uh, you can also leave comments I'm really happy to see comments on my website that'd be fantastic and on Twitter I'm uh, very easy to find at, at Mikey Campling. okay that's it for now thank you goodbye